this is a brand new machine here, the Micro Turn from yeah. Spinner. Uh, White House machine tools represent your product in the UK. Where, where would they be promoting this machine? Who buys this sort of technology? Where does it fit? It is a special machine for high precision turning, turn milling, uh, in the field of hard turning, of micro finishing, uh, but it is also a combination, as a, can also be used as a universal machine. Not only for super finish, high, high precision turning, but also in a combination with a pre-cutting in the same machine, in the same operation. Uh, what makes it micro precision? What, 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 when you say micro finishing, what sort of tolerances do you machine to on this uh, type of machine? We talk always uh, about tolerances on the workpiece below uh, five micrometer. Everything below five micrometer in tolerances, in diameter, in lengths. In, and how do you achieve that? Is that the way the machine's built? Yes, it's a part of the part of our unique design and also of the technology we have in, in producing the components of the machine, such as the spindles, for example. We produce our own spindle heads, which have a sub-micron precision in, in roundness on the turned workpiece. Uh, so these two combinations from the design and from the parts production makes the, uh, brings the precision. Are they, are they all built in Germany, these machines? Yes, 100% built in Germany. We are near Munich in south of Germany. Okay, what about how this machine is made up then? We've got a turret at the bottom and then we've got a platen here. Is that, just tell us about the, the style. Yes, the gang tooling is obviously the, uh, the place of the machine where you can reach the best precision because all the tolerances of the turret and the temperature of the turret are not involved. So we can do the micro finishing on the linear gang tooling. Because it's fixed. It's because fixed. it's fixed and we have only two axes involved. The spindle is moving in Z and X axis, so in two axes only, and we reach the maximum precision on this platen gang type tooling. But you can also move downwards with the spindle to the uh, turret, and you can make their universal applications, pre-cutting and then finishing on top of the, of the gang tooling. So you'd have to plan out how you machine your part. You essentially do the roughing operations maybe with the turret and then the finishing at the top? Yes, obviously with the in the turret position you don't have that precision. It is more or less as a universal machine like many turret machines on the market. But uh, as we move the spindle head and the precision is decided by the cross, uh, cross slide where the spindle is mounted on, it, you can reach much more precision in the gang type area of the working area. Uh, is it a fast machine, Axel? Fast, yes, fast. Fast is, is important, but on the precision, first of all, you have to reach the precision. And the faster the machine, the less precision usually they can reach. Uh, and what about if you wanted to do angled holes? I can't see any angled yeah, options there is here. There is available on top is an additional y-axis with a b-axis opt optionally available which is not installed in this uh, exhibition machine. Then you have an additional y-axis and an additional b-axis including a milling head uh, with a tool changer which you can make five-axis machining as well on the machine. And what about the second operation? There's no, there's no subspindle here. Uh, uh, there is a version available with a subspindle symmetrically to the main spindle right on the right side with also two axes moving uh, identically to the left side, so you have a, a two-channel operation. It's a simultaneous working also on both sides available. I think what strikes me is the size that, it, that, that the footprint it sits in. It's very small, isn't it? Yes, that's very small compared to other machines with B axes and this type of complexity in the market. We are the smallest in floor space. And what about your control behind you? I see that is that looks quite uh, quite advanced. Touch screen. Yes, we have, uh, for all our machines, we are offering a 24-inch touchscreen, uh, which is basically a, a, a Windows PC-based uh, uh, operator panel, and on it, it runs the user surface, for example, for a Siemens control. Okay, can you, so, so on, on this particular machine, is Siemens the, the only yes. option? Yes, for the moment, as this machine is brand new, we always start with one type of control. For the moment, only Siemens is available. Have you sold any yet? Uh, yes, we have sold some machines to existing customers, uh, but the shipments will start from end of the year. And, and, and where do you, what, what sort of industries do you think people will buy this machine from? What would they be making? It is uh, mold making, it is uh, hard turning, high precision parts, uh, optical industry, fine mechanics, electronics, all type of industries who need very precise parts, can be medical or... As a projection in a year, how many would you expect to sell of these in your first year, do you think? Oh, maybe 100 a year is a projection, yes. Very good. Thank you very much, Axel. Great machine.